how to connect and set up an eBay shop in Wix website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple way to set up an eBay account into your Wix website. The process is very easy and very simple. So you are going basically to help your eBay, let's say here store, to have more traffic if your website or your Wix store has a lot of traffic and also a lot of high quality leads that will lead at the final step to some conversions and selling some items from your eBay and also uh, your Wix store. So the process is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. Now, what are we going to do is to sign in into our eBay account. And once we are going to do that, here we are going to see at the header, we have something called cell. And this cell, as you can see, we are going to click on it. And it will take here uh, us to this specific area. So we are going to click on list items and normally here we are going to be seeing the dashboard of our eBay selling page. So you're going basically to add the products here. So you are going to share the item. The second step is to find a match and the third one is going to be a list. So here, aside from that, I'm going to head over our Wix. So we are going to uh, head over Wix.com sign in for an account and you're going to see normally the site's dashboard if you do not have a website on wix or a store in wix go ahead and create a new site and as you can see here we have the ones that we have created i'm going to select this and then we're going to see the dashboard of it now we are going to make sure that we have here a store on our uh, Wix website and that by checking up here the catalog and see that we have these two products If you do not have click on apps then app market and after that you're going to search for Wix stores So this is a uh, very very sophisticated So you are going to put this store into your Wix account It is not obliged to do that and you are not going to be obliged to do that to install the Wix stores but I highly recommend for you to use that because when you have here a Wix store or a store into your Wix website, it is going to track or add a little bit of traffic. So we are going to have here some keywords for your products that will attract a lot of traffic into your website instead of a random and normal website. Now, let's say that we have installed the Wix uh, stores app and etc. We are going to click on design site because of this or edit site because of this next step we are going to visit the uh, the app store again here without opening the website we are going to be obliged later to open up the website so we are going to click on wix app market then we are going to head over to the search bar and type in ebay just like that so we are going to face up a app called ebay stores or eBay store so we have it like this I'm going to click on it and then we are going to see it here the eBay store as you can see for the overview it is going to be a quick and easy integration to enter your eBay username to automatically load your products so you are going to put only use username and then you are going to let the app to uh, here load up your product so you are going to see something like that this is the eBay page and this is the uh, trademark now you can see that it has a full more optimization a personal experience instant branding and etc so we are going to click on add to site and click on add and agree here we are going to get a 30 for a day free trial so here we have installed the app and we are going to see this page so as you can see, it is going to be added to the site menu and under the name of eBay e-commerce. So you are going to see here the uh, eBay page of yours normally right there. And how we can uh, set up here or connect the page, click on settings. And then you're going to type in and add the eBay username. So by just typing the eBay username, you're going to get it in here. 
Now for the layout and styles, you're going to have here the uh, default layout as a grid or, or as a list, just like that. And then you're going to precise the number of items that you want to see per page or the visitors to see on page. The show category is going to be here uh, on and off. So you're going to be able to show the categories and hide them. Also, the product description is going to be either a text or an HTML. The header text is going to be like this. Uh, my store, for example, which is this or our eBay, for example, shop. Up just like that and you're going to see it here change now the bid is going to be or slash purchase is going to be here uh, either from eBay or from the app I highly suggest for you to let it on eBay so that was for the layout now for the styles you can go ahead and customize the uh, background color so I'm going to put it to white and also here we're going to put it just like this I'm going to select that. So I'm going to let it go just like that. It is bugging a little bit. So that means that the app or the page has um, need or it needs a refresh. So the menu is going to be having here a different color and also the theme color, something like here we have this blue. You can go ahead and manage these. So basically that was everything for that. Uh, as you can see here, we have successfully connected our eBay store to our, as you can see uh, here, to our uh, Wix website. Now, what are we going to do is to make sure that the eBay e-commerce is added to the uh, site menu. So we are going to see it here that we have it. Normally it is going to be not hidden, but you can go ahead and hide it from the menu or make it as a home page, just like that. And we, here we have it. The steps to list a product into your eBay store is going to be just right there. So you are going to put, for example, here a watch, and then you are going to click on the search button. And after that, you are going to either find a match or continue without a match. The match is going to be here setting up or helping you to set up the description without uh, re typing it and also naming everything and also the uh, details so you can go ahead and add uh, this for example the condition of the item continue your listing and put the different uh, let's say here information about your uh, product so obviously you are going to be uh, here connecting your store or the email address and after that, you're going to see everything. Do not forget to type in here the username or the tag of your eBay store, and then it will be added to you directly here. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and I hope to see you soon on the next one.